Well, what is at stake, of course, is the uh, majority at the French Parliament, which is uh, very much contested right now. There has been a very, very tight first round and a real question mark as to which party will come on top in this second round. Now, there are four, 546 seats that are still up for grabs. Uh, the other uh, 31 have already uh, been uh, taken simply because, uh, as we said, well, the French who live abroad and the French who live in the Territoire d'Outre-mer, uh, which means the overseas territories, have already voted at this stage. And actually, uh, as you know, it Emmanuel Macron has set out a rule saying that ministers who would not be elected in their districts uh, would uh, potentially have to step down. Well, one, uh, there has been the case for, for one, which is her name is Just, Justine Benin, and indeed she did not make it in Guadeloupe and will probably have to step down uh, tomorrow. Now, there are still 14 ministers that are facing uh, re election and hoping indeed to win and keep their jobs. Now, uh, simply just a few details we have seven uh, triangulars. That means there are seven districts where there are three candidates because three <coughs> made it above the bar of 12.5% of voters. Uh, and also, well, there are uh, nine districts where the quorum, the amount of voters, was not met so that uh, the person that came on top that got more than 50% of the vote uh, could become uh, the new member of parliament. So they have to uh, go to the second round with a pretty big guarantee of being elected. James, one of the big questions, of course, is turnout. What are we expecting there? Well, we're expecting potential low turnout, but with a twist and maybe a surprise. Usually, uh, the turnout is always lower in the second round of uh, the, uh, the parliamentary elections here in France, simply because mechanically, uh, well, some parties are no longer represented, so the voters of those parties, well, do not vote, which kind of makes sense. But this time, things could be slightly different. We had very low turnout, record low turnout, in the first round, uh, with uh, an abstention level at 52.4%. Now, I have to see if there is more abstention, uh, more abstention or less. Uh, in 2017, 57.36% uh, of voters chose not to cast their ballot in the second round of the parliamentary elections. Now, maybe this time things will be different, simply because there is a lot at stake here, with indeed uh, the NUP uh, party facing off, basically, with the presidential party and uh, a contested battle, so potentially people uh, will come out and vote. So we'll have to see how it goes. What I can tell you for now is that there are very few people that went through the grills behind me uh, to cast their ballot in this early rainy Sunday morning.